Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey what's up everyone welcome back to another Venom Vlog and today we're going to talk about this footage that came out this past weekend that had uh, Eddie Brock or at least it had Jake Tamori as the stunt double for Tom Hardy aka Eddie Brock and he was being carried down and so I want to show like an image or two here and also the video here that you're going to see on screen I want to make sure I credit the right people for that so that's up on screen as well and this is pretty interesting because it looks like they maybe put a hole in the wall and uh, it's someone jumping through and, you know, and carrying Eddie Brock, uh, his character. So obviously we have Jake doing some of the stunt work, uh, but obviously it's going to be Tom Hardy and they'll probably do a couple, you know, close up shots or maybe some faraway shots of the action happening. But it looks like and this is from uh, Venom is uh, Venom is coming, I think, is the, the Instagram uh, account that I saw this on his channel. So I want to give him a quick shout out because he does share a lot of stuff, but he doesn't always credit things. And I know he doesn't do it at it maliciously. He just does it because he, he forgets sometimes. But so it's hard for me sometimes to track down who uh, who actually posted these videos. And uh, and so that's why off the top of my head, I don't always know who I can credit. So that's why I have, you know, in post, I'll fix it in post and I'll put the right credit up there. But I do want to give Venom is coming a shout out on, on Instagram and also Venom Media because sometimes Venom Media will send me direct links to the person who posted it and that helps me out a lot too. So this footage here that we have uh, is, is pretty neat because it shows Venom, you know, the suit, jumping through a wall and holding Eddie Brock. Now obviously, well, we don't really know if it's Venom. It could be someone else, could be Carnage, could be Toxin, could be uh, the suit inhabiting, um, you know, Michelle Williams' character and Wayne, and it could be She Venom again. Uh, Venom is coming said that they actually filmed this building and they changed it into a uh, police department so like it was like they did shoot some stuff outside of a uh, SFPD or San Francisco Police Department but then I guess on this back wall here they're just like faking it as the back of the police department and I and I so that's what at least ac uh, according to them so it looks like maybe we're going to have a scene where Eddie Brock doesn't have the suit and gets put into police custody at some point. And I guess that's why the police are maybe chasing Eddie through the church at one point later on. Um, could be to deal with all that. We don't know. We don't know if maybe Cletus gets out and, you know, ruins Eddie's life again or frames Eddie for something. Maybe Cletus as Carnage is, you know, goes out and causes some damage and everybody thinks it's just Venom doing it. I mean, we don't know the context of everything yet, obviously. Uh, so, and of course, maybe I'm just throwing out some dumb ideas, but I'm just trying to spitball here and also to get your guys' brains thinking uh, because obviously this isn't just about my opinion and my theories. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, you know, what do you think is happening here? It looks like Eddie Brock is being rescued to some degree. And I made a comment like, uh, I think I said, oh, what if it's the suit carrying Eddie? They bust through a wall. And then, you know, when they, by the time they hit the ground, they remerge. And I think sometimes when I word things online, uh, you know, it's in text and you guys don't understand my, my, what I'm trying to say. And that is also on me. Maybe I'm not clear on what I'm trying to say. So I was just thinking of this visually of like maybe the suit gets separated from Eddie because of some sound disruptor. It goes over, punches a hole in the wall, you know, without Eddie attached. It grabs Eddie. Pulls them in, scoops them up, jumps out, and on their way down, they merge, and then they land as Venom. I was just thinking of, I was trying to think of a cool visual like that, because um, some of you are like, well, why would the suit be carrying Eddie without, you know, it, you know, be bonded with Eddie? And I'm like, well, that's the point. Maybe it's just trying to get out of there quickly, and on the way down, they bond, you know, or something like that. That was kind of my theory. Um, again, doesn't make it a good idea. I'm just spitballing theories out there. Uh, but, a, you know, a lot of you think this, and I think this maybe too, also, um, is that uh, it could be Anne, uh, you know, going to see Eddie and bringing the suit with her, and they bust him out of jail. Maybe he's just in holding. Because, like, when I heard someone say jail, I think I was thinking of San Quentin prison. I'm like, no, why? Eddie's not going to be in prison. Um, but obviously, that's where Cletus is. But, uh, yeah, and I guess at some point, Eddie could be detained and put just, like, in a holding cell at a police station, and maybe that's what this is, is his, him getting busted out or something. So, again, we don't know the full ramifications of it. We don't know the full details. And I don't even really know if I want to know every single detail. I just want to throw theories out there because it's fun. Uh, because, you know, obviously, the more details we really do know, we're going to just spoil things for ourselves and so I felt like this would be a fun video to make because it's just spitballing theories and stuff so and now that you've seen the footage now that you heard what I had to say and some of my dumb theories um, I want to hear some of your good theories <laughs> let me know in the comments below um, you know what do you think of this what do you think's happening uh, you know obviously I feel like it's clearly you know an es they're escaping that's obvious right like they're escaping from something but do you think it's a person in the, in, in the uh, Venom symbiote do you think it's Anne and they're doing another She Venom scene do you think it's the, the symbiote bonded to somebody else because I was also thinking that like let's because some of you i know are, are fans of the donny cates run and you're fan of you know like what that storyline is 
and I was thinking about that. I said, you know, if they do a third movie and they do kind of like a null thing or like, you know, some being coming down from, you know, Clintar to help, uh, you know, eradicate the human race or something um because that was kind of the setup in the first movies that riot came down to earth and he was leading a squad which had venom in it and they were supposed to slowly take over earth and then somehow find a way to bring the clintar race to earth uh, so they can start dominating so clearly someone up there wants them to come dominate so we might see a version of null or something at some point down the road we don't know yet but i was thinking if you do that you might need the codice storyline you know because that's what's happening in absolute carnage is that cletus is going around and killing people who have ever bonded to a symbiote even if they bonded for like a minute or two they still have a uh, like a little remnant a remnants of that symbiote in their spine and there he's able to and it's called a codex and he's able to break open their spine and drink it you know essentially and then with that little seed he's able to you know get more powerful and stronger and he basically absorbs the abilities of those symbiotes to the, to you know for the most part so i was thinking wow so we're going to need the symbiote to bond to other people so that there are more people in eddie's life that you know have the codex and it makes it you know the stakes higher for when eddie has to save them later so i was thinking about that possibility too so i was like yeah maybe this is ann uh wearing it or maybe it's um you know uh detective mulligan Maybe he at some point decides to befriend Eddie and the suit, or maybe they're not even friends. Maybe the suit just forces, it bonds itself to Detective Mulligan and helps Eddie escape and then gets away and then Detective Mulligan just left there. But either way, that's another person that would now have a codex. So there, yeah, there's so many possibilities. I was like, oh, that's cool. That could be something that they could be setting up. We don't know. So again, my theories, those are them. Let me know yours down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.